I was just walking to the gym to go hit some shoulders right now. Look at what I came across right here. I think that's literally the tiniest car I've ever seen in my life. Look, it's got two wheels in the back, but only one in the front. What do you call that? That's pretty cool. That's <laughs> the first time I see this. I hope it's not rude to go inside and film. Just want to look the inside. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> I mean, I would not trust that. I would go and I would crash that within a second or two probably because that does not look really steering friendly, you know? But it's pretty cool. There's even a ton of bobble heads on the top. Look at that. All right, first things first, if you make a face like I just did when you're in the bathroom, you might want to go to your doctor. Something might be wrong with you. But what's going on everyone? Today is a shoulder day and what I do for uh, these sessions lately is I just look how much I did last session. So uh, what was my top working sets for the volume? And then I try to beat that volume. So last time I did five sets of eight reps, I think with uh, 145, 145 pounds. So today I decided to go 10 pounds heavier and do five sets of eight reps again with that. And with uh, 10 pounds heavier. So it's not much of a difference, but it is a little bit better than last time. And that's all there is to it, to training. You just want to make sure that you do just a little bit more than last time, or you have some better quality reps. It doesn't need to be more volume, but it can be something a little bit better than last time. It's, there's always little things we can improve here and there. And that's always why I go in the gym. I try to really have a goal in mind for how can I get better today? You know, that's my thought process. Because I, if I don't do that, I really feel like I waste my time in the gym. I, I get bored. I, I want to stimulate my body and my brain by setting myself goals and really pushing hard to reach those goals. That's my mentality. If I don't do that, like I said, I, I'm not proud of myself or my training. I don't feel like I push myself enough. I know I could have done more. So. I really like right there you see my face I, I'm really like zoned in I really want this last set I was tired I'm like no, no no it doesn't matter if you're tired just do it I knew I could have done it so I did it and it's it's a pride thing really you can really push yourself uh, your body can do a lot if your mind follows but you just gotta push your mind as well it's very important and then the, the more you push the more resilient you, you become and then you just want to you get addicted to, it's a very addictive feeling and that's why i i share my thought process with you maybe you can apply that for yourself and your goals um, and then just did some isolation stuff right here so uh, start off with some uh, lateral raises right here i love this i try to uh, really control it on the way up and down to really get a lot of time under tension and get in that blood flow to these muscle bellies and rear delt flies right here with this machine i love this it's really good like to hit the back of my shoulders i feel it in my traps a bit but mainly the back of my shoulders it's a good pump and it's a, just a different angle to hit it from compared to hinging over with dumbbells i love to switch it up use machines use dumbbells here and there i don't really mind what i use i just it's just so much fun to me i'm like a kid in a candy store when i'm in the gym so many machines around i'm like what do i do next you know it's just so fun to look around and try new things and push yourself and it's just a fun time to me uh, and then front raises right here with this attachment i love this i feel like it's a really good uh, exercise for my front shoulders and then i'm like hold the phone let's superset this with some dumbbells right here and push it you know i did four sets supersetted to dumbbell front raises right here all these sets were like this except some sets were 10 reps each some sets were 12 reps each but i kept it in the 10 to 12 rep range for all these four supersets and that's pretty much it for this session had a good shoulder pump right here thought i'd share with you feeling good um slowly becoming fuller for, with my shoulders and rounder and uh it's it's a lot of hard work but i, I enjoy it so much my shoulders are starting to pop off a little bit more here and there uh, i'm training my shoulders twice a week on average these days and it's really helping because that's literally double the volume from what i used to do so uh, feeling good even though it's tiring sessions, it's always worth it. 
I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you uh, took something from this. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the damn video. It helps out the channel and comment. It helps out the algorithm and pretty much it, man. Thank you for watching. Go take care of yourself. Go exercise. Go take a walk. Do anything. Exercise is free and it's always good for you and your mental health. That's the main thing, right? It's, it's nice to train and build muscle and get into better shape but the main the main priority should be your mental health you know what i'm saying so th yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you tomorrow with another bodybuilding training video take it easy have a good one